Hey, I'm glad you could make it. We've got an exciting day today. We are celebrating a birthday. Ours. See, the Odyssey Adventure Club just turned one year old with this episode. Now, we're gonna talk a little more about the, the audio drama for the month and all the mischief those young disciples got into. But right now, there's a lot of celebrating to do, a lot of cake to eat. So let's take a minute to look back at the first year of the Odyssey Adventure Club. It's only been one year for the Odyssey Adventure Club, but what a year it's been. 365 days filled with Odyssey. An adventure. And you know, club stuff. <clears throat> Anyways, we met Dr. Val, a veterinarian helping animals while spreading the hope of Jesus in Uganda. And got to see her drive a car named Brutus that has horns on it. Wouldn't we all want that? We toured a castle with Chris and some of our Odyssey team, scaled the highest tower, wore awesome costumes, and, well, we kind of lost everything. <clears throat> and we had a little fun with Dave. Don't press the button! Oh, fine. Crazy? Get us in trouble! This is Dave. Drake the Cosmic Copper landed for an adventure as we met Chad and learned how he wrote the actual comic book. Plus, we met Tom, the comic book artist, and learned a few of his secrets. Shh, don't tell anyone. Then we turned from comics to compassion and learned about the mission of Compassion International. They rescue children across the world from poverty while providing an education and sharing the gospel. We also blew up their former president, Wes Stafford. Do not try this at home. Our friend Dave Runyon taught us how to be a good neighbor, and we passed along a neighborly idea, making someone a Wad Fam chalk sod. And we also passed along a few things not to do. Sure. Hey, mister. Involve your neighbor in the fun. As long as they're looking. Did I just hear myself? Hmm. Anyways, the adventures continued at Lost Valley Ranch, where we saddled up and learned how to be cowboys and girls. Seriously, did you really know how to tie a quick release knot before that? Speaking of cowboys, who knew the voice of Eugene sang like one? Back in the good old days, folks would run when they'd hear this phrase. Look out, the outlaws are coming. Ruck is raising and guns are blazing. Look out, the outlaws are coming, so you better spread the word around. Tell everyone. By the way, here's that guy getting hit in the back again with a football. I just can't get enough of it. Okay, that's not kind, and we should be kind to others. In fact, you joined us on our trek to complete as many acts of kindness we could in one day as we fired up the kindness cam. Then we did even more good deeds with Operation Christmas Child, packing shoeboxes filled with gifts, which are sent to countries across the world to children in need. We even went on our own shopping trip, using secret superpowers to speedily race the cart around. Okay, I just made that up. I can barely peel a banana without asking for help. In Adventure 11, we met Pastor Lee and got a glimpse of the amazing ways he is helping abandoned babies in South Korea. And you found out about the movie The Dropbox, which tells more of his story. Plus, we learned a lot more about adoption and how God has adopted us into his family. Amen to that. Finally, we ate a good meal. Really, I think every adventure should end this way. I know. Maybe you should have us over each month for dinner. I mean, that's what friends do, right? And we did learn about the importance of friendships and teamwork in our final adventure. Whether you're talking about your best friend, like Katie and Kimmy did, or hanging out on the side of a mountain, 
Nice job, Nathan. There's no denying, we need each other. Our first year has so many other highlights. Zillions of them. Here's just a few. Alas, we said goodbye to Brock. And hello to Bob, at least in his new role. And then we had Bob dress like a cowboy and ride a horse and swing from a rope and wear a hard hat, get on a forklift and stand on a freezing mountain. And best of all, here's Bob singing songs of the Old West. In the Old West. Uh, that's probably good. Plus, Bob ate Korean food, pie, and peanut butter with a spoon. And he shared an apple with a horse. In our first year, you also met some of our friends, like Sean, Colin, Ford, Annalise, Carly, T-Bone, and of course, Neeland, Kelly, and Brandon, who provided great insight and taught us more about God. I felt icky in my stomach. And ultimately, my mom came and found me, and she wasn't too happy either. If you watched our first year of adventures closely, you probably saw a lot of the Adventures in Odyssey team. Let's see, there was... Yes, it's been quite an adventure so far. We've gone a lot of places, met a lot of people, watched a guy get hit with a football. I'm sorry, that's the last time, I promise. And we've learned a lot together. But most importantly, you have helped us help others, which is really at the heart of why we do what we do. Your gifts to Compassion International provided everything from playground equipment to pigs, goats, and chickens for needy families. Plus, you even provided medical care for babies. And you gave over 100 Bibles. We know many of you packed and sent shoeboxes for Operation Christmas Child. But Adventure Club members also provided emergency food and medicine, fruit trees for a poor family, and a way for 800 children to learn more, and we pray, say yes to Jesus. Support for Pastor Lee's ministry, you'll remember him from the Dropbox, included donations that will care for the health and wellness of countless orphans and children with disabilities. And then, starting everything off, was Dr. Val and the Christian Veterinary Mission. Your gifts were enough to buy a dozen camels for thankful villagers. Well, I could say more, but honestly, I've talked a lot. I'm really thirsty, and I think I swallowed a bug. So let's just say, happy birthday, Odyssey Adventure Club. <laughs> 